Dr. Jaffe, one of our practitioners writes in and asks if you have heard of GI dysfunction occurring post-COVID infection. She states that she has one patient who is now experiencing loose and urgent stools. The other had an aggravation of their celiac condition, including severe abdominal pain one hour after eating. Why would COVID cause GI dysfunction after the infection has cleared? And also, these symptoms arose months after these patients recovered from COVID. So what PERC integrative health products and services could be used to restore structure and function? Yeah, let me start with the solution. Let me start with the specific PERC products that urgently are needed by anyone who's in the category of long COVID, of I don't feel well, you know, months after COVID, or specifically, what has happened, which is due to it being an RNA mucosal virus. And the mucosa in most physiology textbooks starts at the lips and goes to the tush. It's a tube and it should have a large surface area. The people you're describing already had maldigestion, dysbiosis, some degree of enteropathy, some disturbance of digestive transit time, some exposure to foods and chemicals that from our point of view were harmful to their function. Um, what our colleague asked about is all too common because people who started with a deficiency of essential antioxidants, buffering minerals, and other cofactors, a deficiency of prebiotic, probiotic, and symbiotics, a deficiency of whole foods that they could digest, take in and assimilate, eliminate in a timely way without immune burden. That's possible, but the people who are described, those who have the so-called long COVID or um, these kinds of uh, uh, what seem to be uh, surprising digestive issues, but they're just the result of the infection itself leaving behind a repair deficit. Now you can call it inflammation and try to suppress it, but it's really a repair deficit. And I wanna evoke healing responses in proportion to whatever repair deficit is left behind after the virus has subsided. But it's, if you think of the virus in a sense as burning its way through the mucosal digestive tract, afterwards, there's some time where the soil and the forest has to, by metaphor, recover. And we evoke that with prebiotic fiber, 40 to 100 grams a day, such as per regularity guard, per probiotics, our multi-active organisms in the per digestive guard, Forte 10, and our distinctive recycled glutamine with PAC that restores the endothelium, it restores the enterocytes, it restores the digestive capacity because these lining enter enterocyte cells turn over very quickly, they require energy continuously, and they need energy faster and get it in the usual way. And they have figured out that glutamine uh, conversion gives them energy. We have figured out how to recycle that glutamine on average 10 times using PAC, paradoxal alpha ketoglutarate. So you get the benefit of the glutamine without glutamate buildup. And yes, we would recommend at least the LRA test and plan and possibly the four self-assessments and eight predictive biomarkers to anyone that has the kind of residual effects a residual afflictions, residual adverse uh, consequences uh, of having, quote, recovered from COVID, but not yet regained health. 